Hello and welcome to another episode of UX Design Secrets. My name is Caleb and today I'm going to be designing a TV settings screen. Now I'm going to fast forward this video and kind of talk through what I'm doing here. And this video is just to demonstrate how fast it can be to design something that you have from scratch. Now before I opened up Adobe XD, I actually sketched a few things on my iPad. And this is just to help me illustrate the ideas that I'm going to be coming up with in Adobe XD. So with this image here, what I'm going to do is create a new Adobe XD project. And the first thing I did was create an artboard that was the same size as a TV, 1920 by 1080. And then I jumped into Unsplash. Now for those that aren't familiar with Unsplash.com, it's an online resource full of thousands of free images. And to add an image to the background of this TV, I'm just going to pick one of these here, and I'm going to drop that directly into my project here. Now I can actually drag and drop the sketch that I created on my iPad directly into XD too, just for reference. Now that I have my reference image and my background image, I'm just going to start laying out some elements to start to form this design. And now I'm going to be using Icons 8, which you can download at icons8.com to find a bunch of icons that I'm going to be using for my design. And these icons will be things like picture, sound, internet, or network, apps, and settings. So as soon as I find these, I'll just drag and drop them in my artboard. And now I want to resize all of these icons to be the same size as each other and recolor them. And now I'm going to align them and distribute them evenly. And we'll begin creating the picture settings here. Now these picture settings are pretty easy. All I'm going to be doing is adding some text, adding a few rectangles with some radiuses in them. So just very straightforward stuff here. And now that I have all of my elements laid out, I want to play with the padding, the sizes, and even the colors to see how they are in relation to each other. So we're developing a whole new style here. And it's important to have all the elements next to each other to kind of see how the colors or the opacity and shades balance out. Also, because this is a TV setting screen, we want to make sure that the setting that you have highlighted is in focus, that you can tell that that is the element that you're going to be interacting with. And so I have to put a little bit less focus on some of these other elements until you select that. So I'm just trying to figure out a good color balance or a good shading balance to help whatever is in focus just really pop out at you. And now to do that, what I want to do inside of this picture mode is I created a rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and add a background blur to kind of make that element just a little bit unique from anything else. And now I want to add just a shadow here to the left and right of this picture mode horizontal scroll so that that uh, true tone and that clear tone is a little bit hidden or receded back into this rounded rectangle. So I'm going to create a gradient here, darken the left edge, and I'm just going to rotate that. And now that we have our design complete, I'm going to jump into Google, find a nice picture of a TV here that we can overlay our graphic on. And now that I've found one, I can just save that to my downloads folder. And now I'm going to export this artboard out because I'm going to do my compositing in Adobe Photoshop. So here I have Adobe Photoshop open. I'm just going to resize this to match and I'll mask off the edge a little bit. And now I want to really resize this to put some emphasis on this setting screen. And so now we have our final design here. We can go ahead and export this out. So that's it. As you can see very quickly within Adobe XD, I was able to export about five icons, one image, and the rest were just rounded rectangles, some squares, and some text to get a really nice setting screen that just sits on the side very nicely and complements the image behind it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please visit my Udemy course, Learn Adobe XD. This course comes with exercise files included for each video, and you'll learn things like designing using fun tools like repeat grids, and even how to prototype your designs and share with friends to view on their devices. If you click on the link in the description, I'm having an exclusive deal for my YouTube subscribers that will give you 85% off. Thank you, and don't forget to click that subscribe button for more fun tips. Mm -hmm.